Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to learn how to connect Android phone or tablet with Android Studio. Before connecting, make sure that both the machines, that both the devices are on same network. Here again, it will need settings within your Android phone also, settings within Android Studio also. So first we'll see the settings within the phone. Now here, we have to open the option for settings. Now see it is showing settings option here. So open the settings option. Within settings option, just check your developers options is enabled or not. Here in last, it is showing developers options. If it is not enabled on your device, we can enable it by doing some settings. On my device, it is already enabled. I will tell the procedure how to enable if it is not enabled on your device. To enable developers option, you have to select this option that is about tablet or if you are using phone, it will show the option about phone. About phone session, status information, legal information, software information and battery information. Now we need a software information right now. So just click on this option that is a software information. Now see it is showing information about the software that is the android version, one UI version. I suggest you when you are using android device, so try to use android version of 11 and above so that it will show the wireless debugging option on your mobile. Okay, so right now I am using the android version 12. Now here if you observe, it is showing one option build number. You have to just Press that build number seven times so that your developer's option will get enabled. Okay, so just I will tap this option or I will press this build number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like this. Now see, it is showing message no need developer mode has been already activated. So already it is activated on my device, and if you press like this, it will activate on your phone also. Okay, so once activate this developers option, then only we can start the wireless debugging. Now open this developers option within developers options. Now see it is showing, it is showing two options USB debugging and wireless debugging. If we are going to connect our device by using USB cable, then only we have to enable this USB debugging option. Else we have to enable by using wireless debugging option. So just click on this wireless debugging. Enable this option wireless debug. Now again if you open this wireless debugging, it is showing two options pair device with QR code or you can pair device with some pairing code. So we are going to connect device by using QR code. So just open the Android Studio. Now in Android Studios, if you see towards uh, top right corner, it is showing some options. First one is it is showing the running devices, again device manager, Gradle. So right now we want to use, uh, we want to add new device. So select the option device manager. If you click on this device manager, it is showing virtual device, which already I have added, but I want to add my Samsung tablet. Okay, or we can, we want to add some of our new device, wireless device. So just click on this wireless option. Now see it is showing option pair using Q QR code. And you have to scan this code. Now see it is showing devices connected. Once you connect this, you can close this window. Now see, it is showing here, my device has been added and it is a physical device and the first one is a virtual device. Now see what is need of adding physical device. If you are executing any kind of project, sometime it can happen that there is a lack of memory or there can be issue with the speed of your laptop. So in these cases, it is better to add the physical device. This is my first application i want to execute this application by using this samsung device 
here is our mobile and here it is showing that Samsung is connected and this is our and this is your, our application main.kt file that is a Kotlin file friends you can take any application or any simple program for demonstration so we want to run this program so just click on this execute button now gradle build is running is taking little bit time now see it is showing install successfully finished that is uh, we have connected our this samsung and it is showing output on this samsung device okay again this was a string whatever i have passed that is a uh, welcome to my channel so output is welcome to my channel and here we have given that string hello so output is hello and welcome to my channel and it is showing this output on this mobile also okay and this dot this file android file will get created on mobile also so just i will show that file our name of program is first app on my mobile also this first app is created so if i click on this again it shows the output that is hello welcome to my channel now we will see how to disconnect this phone from android studio now if you observe here in android studio they have not given option for disconnecting our device so what we can do in our device only that is the mobile only you can open the settings in developer options again new wireless debugging if you observe here it is showing the connection that is a paired devices okay so just click on the settings and here it is showing option to forgot so just click on this now see here device is disconnected okay so friends i conclude my session here i hope this video was helpful for you if you have any queries related with this video you can comment me in comment if you really like this video don't forget to like subscribe and share thank you